Hello everyone. Alright, so I just have um, just a bunch of random updates for you guys. Nothing much has been going on, but I did do my first ever face-up. Unfortunately, I chose a tiny to do the face-up on. And I'm not, of course, good at it because I've never done it before. And I lack artistic, natural, I should say, natural artistic talent. So it looks like crap. And not only does it look like crap, she kind of looks like a junkie hooker prostitute, pretty much. <laughs> it's really bad. I mean, it really is that bad. I can't even lie and pretend it's not. I did fine on the blushing, I think. But then I sprayed her again, let her sit, and I thought to myself, I should probably use the watercolor pencils, but I wanted to follow this tutorial exactly, and she used acrylic paint, so I went for it. And I shouldn't touch acrylic paints probably ever. I'm not saying I never will, but I'm going to wipe her face up starting from scratch, and I probably will give her more blushing because that was actually very, very simple. And just, you know, take a paintbrush and just, you know, but the acrylic paints, I'm staying far, far away. I think where I mostly randomly went wrong is with the flow aid. It says to get in the, um, the to tutorial. It says to, on here anyway, it says to dilute it with water. But in the tutorial, she did not. There's a chance that may help. I did not also, while I was at the store at Michael's, I also did not get uh, a retarder, I guess that's what it's called, because the tutorial didn't mention getting one, but I hear other people use it to thin down the acrylic paints, so I might have to give that a try, but not on this face. I'm going to stick with the watercolor pencil, see what happens on my second face up. I have the Winsor & Newton to wipe her face. I ended up finding it by accident at Michael's, which was a good thing. Because I figured, you know, first time off the bat, I was not going to get it right. And I was right. <laughs> it's so bad. I will share a picture, but trust me, it's awful. Really? Junkie Hooker Broster right here. It's awful. Anyway, I went to a doll show on Sunday. It was also a doll meet, but I went to... Uh, is that a doll show here in town that happens twice a year? It's really neat. And I ended up finding the pull-up I wanted. She was actually going to be the first one I got instead of pull-up Naomi. She's a pull-up Chelsea. She's one of the Hellcat punks. She was actually, I was going to get her, but then Denver Doll sold out of her. And pull-up style at the time did not have her in stock. So while I was looking, that's why I got um, pull-up Naomi because I loved her outfit and the character I had in mind for her was a singer anyway so I figured she'd work and she did actually she worked very well Jolie really <laughs> she worked very well but um, I got my pull that I originally wanted and I love her and I've actually de-wigged her I'd show you but that requires taking off all this and I kind of don't want to but it turns out de-wigging is easy so I did that on my other one too because her wig drives me insane I she has she's supposed to have black hair at least the character is so this white wig is only temporary until my monstro designs order comes in but it turns out de-wigging a pull-up is really quite easy except things that are so called easy never end up well for me anyway but I give it a try <laughs> I gave it a try on Chelsea first and it turns out it was really really simple I mean I thought at any moment I was accidentally going to slice off her head but it turns out I didn't of course because she still has it <laughs> even though she did lose her hands I was completely un unaware that pull-ups could they come apart so she lost her hands, and when I took off Naomi's wig, she lost her arm, and my cat almost ran away with it. So it was really awful, but I did not thankfully cut off their heads. Um, but it was really simple. So she's bald underneath. 
I'm going to figure out if there's a way to get like the residual glue off, but the wig covers it anyway, so it's not too big of a deal. But it wasn't that hard, and I'm very glad I did it, because now I can get them for wigs kind of like this that will work better for them and are easier to control, because pull-up wigs are kind of awful fibers. I'm, I'm just assuming they're some, you know, regular synthetic wigs, but they're, they're awful. I kind of hate them. <laughs> At least I always hated Naomi's wig. Her wig was a hassle. I had to tie it back because otherwise it would fly away and fly up because it was very staticky and I don't know if it was because of the heaviness or what was going on. It was very confusing. But So anyway, Monster Design Wigs for them. Also the same person who made my tiniest wig. I love her stuff. I also ordered Elia some stuff. I ordered her, let me see, I ordered her a really cute skirt. That's a one of a kind. She'll probably make more of it. And I ordered her socks and beanies and what else? I'm trying to think. I think that's pretty much it for her. I also, while I was at the doll show, got her boots. I really actually kind of love them except for the shoelaces are kind of awful they I mean what can you say I mean they're j just regular string there but they're awful and I'm hoping to find her some more that are really cute I'm not sure if regular shoelaces will work on these but I thought I would give it a try and we'll see what happens but I love these boots it's just the laces I have a problem with I got lucky on that front Vi also got something. He got a shirt made by the Diverse Designs on, let's see, you can search for them on DOA under that name. They also, I, Lords Sashomaru, I believe, also um, is the person you can contact for their stuff. I happen to love this shirt. It is for a girl, but I love it for him. And I love the color. And it looks really cute under this hoodie that I gave him that was Elia's, but I like it better on him. So there wasn't much to get at the doll show, but that's okay. I mean, there was mostly wigs and stuff. And I have my doll she boys ordered, both my Bernard and my Saint. I had only my Saint ordered at first, but I finally got Bernard. I have them ordered, but I don't want to get them anything to actually get them, seeing as how it could take, well, someone who ordered nine months ago just got their doll. Who knows, it could be another nine months till I get my doll. And by then, who knows what stuff they'll need. I figured I would wait till I first paid them off since I'll lay away and then go from there. And... I don't want to have too much stuff laying around that I would either have to sell or want to get rid of later. I figured why not. So, let me see. I think that was all I had for this particular update. I also got a shirt, but it's put away. It's for a hound, but it should fit him just fine. It's um, also made by diverse, diverse Designs. I need to try it on him. But I want to wait till his pants came first because <laughs> I'm anal like that. I want the pants to go with the shirt. So, I mean, it makes sense to me, but other people are probably like, will you get over it? Jesus. <laughs> um, he also stole Alias socks. I'm not sure if you noticed. He can, I, I don't know. It, they just look better on him. So, I put them on him. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is... Well, I mean, that's it for the update, but I'm going to wipe her face tonight. Um, I have to find a tutorial on that first, but I'm going to wipe her face and do another face up. Hopefully it comes out better. <laughs> I'll definitely take a picture of this one so you can pair it with the one I do hopefully tonight. Definitely going to wipe it tonight, but whether I can do it again just depends on if it has to dry or do anything like that. And <laughs> yeah, we'll go from there. Her poor little face. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, that's all for this update. I'm so sorry. This it's 
so bad. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, that's all. <laughs> Bye.